Hello everyone, my name is Iblaikens, I'm a music engineer, a producer, rapper and uh, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can make uh, music with Logic, uh, mainly with Logic Pro and uh, I've been using basically Logic uh, since uh, 2005, somewhere there and um, before I used uh, Cubase and Nuendo, you know and uh, I've been using Logic since I have uh, bought my uh, Mac Pro um, and, and, and Logic is actually good software uh, whenever you want to produce music with MIDI's but because the whole system is just stable you know what I mean it's just stable whenever you want to produce music and you want that I have a Mac Pro uh, I don't know how out, but really out Mac Pro and uh, Logic is installed of course and, and I actually always whenever I uh, put it on it's always working no problem nothing so that's really nice to have that alright in last videos I've been talking to you about uh, how you can use your plugins how you can use sidechain to give some special uh, sound and to develop your own style of music because that's really important especially nowadays because everybody use kind of same sound same samples you want to try to find your own sound your own style and that's really important that you um, that you do that because you know everybody do the same so and and yeah whose fault is it's actually nobody fault because we make music with tools that we had and the tools that you have nowadays is available for everyone you know what I mean so to to change that to make that a little bit different um, I use always uh, whenever I start making music I actually begin with mixing so from step one for the moment that I try and make my own kick I start mixing it and I developing and this way I try to make it different from other producers and other people who make music and I suggest you do the same because that way you're gonna maybe take it a little bit longer but that make you just uh, develop your own sound your own style that's really important right so in this video we're gonna make some music let's just uh, dive in let's just make some music right so whenever you start making uh, uh, making music with logic first of all of course you have to create your project and uh, you have all uh, all options for example if you're gonna record some uh, guitars and you're uh, you want to uh, you want to have something a little bit already ready for you to do that you have options to do f to do for that uh, this one gonna open for you a project with uh, with uh, where you can record your guitar with many plugins already inserted for you and then you have to compose uh, if you are about if you know exactly what kind of sound or what kind of song you're gonna produce for example if you're going for the hip-hop you have the option to do that and uh, in case you're gonna go for the mix and mastering after you're done you can use one of these projects for and of course you have the options to make your own uh, templates and this my templates are mostly for recording for uh, for producing music I really haven't any uh, any templates yet on this uh, on this software on, on logic um, because I merely use um, uh, side chaining of uh, days chaining of two computer and three or maybe four sometime uh, to to make my music because I'm using a analog top table still so uh, uh, I have the option to do that in case you won't do the same I ha uh, uh, maybe with one week I'm about to make that uh, video I'm preparing it for right now uh, that's gonna be a uh, real 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 um, important video to watch because in that video I'm gonna about the differences between uh, mixing analog and digital and the, the differences that you can hear in that not only here but that you can also see and me doing it because you know that's really important thing not for you to decide if you want to go for analog or digital only but for you to understand the differences because uh, when, uh, whenever you do that you understand the differences of this is analog this is digital and you make music you know in your mind beforehand uh, this is sounding analog this is sounding digital 
so that's gonna help you a lot with that and what I'm gonna do is because I have made a lot of music in the past years I have made um, really a lo uh, lot of music and each 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 um, each session of my music have been some of them have been completely mi uh, mixed and uh, have made in a digital environment other one uh, on on analog environment so that's really nice video to watch really interesting so let's go for a hip hop one so let's make some hip hop music so you just select it and it's uh, it's gonna it's gonna come up with some uh, scenes that he had already for you. And you can use them to produce your music. Now, this is of course. Now you're gonna give it a name. You see, movie one, movie two. I'm gonna call this one movie three. All right. Now, um, this is of course all MIDI. So and it has also some uh, already for you inserted if you want to record your uh, vocals and stuff. Of course, we're not gonna do that. So let's just uh, delete that. The click if you wanna metronome if you wanna hear uh, whenever you're gonna click uh, you wanna record it. And uh, you have uh, obviously your drums on the top. This all are the ultra bit really nice drum machine. And then you have your sample, if you want to insert some samples, then you have your bass, another bass, then you have all other instruments that, that Logic have already chosen for you. Alright, so if you want to hear to hear how they sound, you can just... Oh, I think it's a little bit too high, so let's... Because I've been, mm, I've been recording this video see how many plugins and how many buses is already f made for you so that's kind of nice you don't have to do it but hey this what i'm gonna do you never gonna do you never want to do same thing what i'm not gonna do but i have to do it because i'm recording and 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 making music at the same time i want to uh, capture my screen and making music at the same time so what that's gonna do if i'm not uh, it's gonna distort the sound so i have to bring it lower but you never want to mess with your output master of output uh, mix master output the mix bus output because the sub bus, I mean, sorry, because uh, whenever you mix music, you have you have been hearing about uh, 32 beats, 24 and 16 or 64. That those be the, those representing how many how many dBs you can have in your sound because before they're gonna distort. As you of course know, music uh, and at zero. Uh, the, let me show you with this one. Maybe just a little bit. Uh, you see, at uh, zero is 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 the maximum level you can have with the music. All right. So everything the blow is 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 your beats. And whenever you have the sixteen beats, you have the sixteen. Uh, uh, you can look at like this. You have sixteen boxes where you can put your sound in. All right. Whenever you have twenty four, you have more. Of course, you have twenty four boxes, so you can have a little louder sound. If you have 20, uh, 32, you have of course more, and 64 actually insane, but it's kind of nice when you have 64 uh, bit uh, software, you can have, you can use more than just 4 bit of RAM for your, uh, for your software, for your computer, so that's kind of nice. Alright, so um, that we have done, let's just listen again. It's still distort, so let's bring it a little lower. Alright, I'm gonna try this for now. Right, I think that's that. I think this one is nice, and um, what I'm gonna do because I'm not sure if the the sound of everything is 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 alright. The level is fine. So before we move on, I'm gonna stop this video and I'm gonna check it again because I don't wanna blow your speaker up. <laughs> and 
And then I move on to the video number 2. Two. I'm living in Amsterdam, by the way. And uh, you know that uh, the the uh, Netherlands language in English is kind of really same. It's almost 50-50. So a lot of these words is <laughs> just same to me. Anyway, um, so uh, I'm going to pause this video for now. I'm going to check if everything uh, sound right. And I'm going to move on to the second part of this video. So stick around go ahead to the second one and then we're gonna just jump in and to uh, to producing our uh, masterpiece hip-hop track in case that uh, in case that you don't have time we're gonna come back wanna thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my channel so every time I make your music I can uh, it's gonna be automatic sent to you you can subscribe in under this video as uh, it's a, it's a uh, button that subscribe or whenever you click on that's gonna subscribe and uh, please like my videos please come back to watch them I really love doing this and I see you in the next video alright thank you bye bye